Hey, good morning guys. I'm gonna head on down to the river today and see if I can't find anything good. Let's see what happens. All right guys, I'll see you at the first good signal. Guys, I just got down here to the river and I just seen uh, something that's, I think, super sweet. There's a, an empty wheelchair sitting here on the edge of the water. And right up from that wheelchair, is an elderly couple and he's helping her walk the beach I think that's really sweet well I just found my first treasure of the day guys all right on to the next one guys so I got my first nickel of the day I just got a quarter right before that one I didn't put that one on camera but you'll see it at the roundup all right, on to the next one. Just scored a second nickel. I'll take it, happy to have it. On to the next one. Just scored another penny. I think that's my third river penny today. All right, on to the next one. So I just got this nasty fella out of the water. Uh, it's an old Coors can. That looks like an old one there. I don't know if you're able to date these or not. I'll research it and see if I can't find a time frame on that type of opening for you guys. But, all right, guys, on to the next one. I had a signal. It's still in the in the water there. I haven't got it out yet. I missed it on this first scoop on this first attempt. But I noticed this little fella in my scoop. He's playing dead now. I don't know what in the heck that guy is, but obviously he lives underwater. I'm not sure what I've got there. Kind of a weird looking creature. Anyways, we're gonna put him back. Let him go about his day. Alrighty guys. Let's see if I can get this signal out of the out of the water there. All right, guys, got the first dime of the day. So I think we got one of each now. All righty, on to the next one. Penny. Got another penny. Getting a few of those today. I think I only got one quarter, one dime, two nickels, and a small handful of pennies. On to the next one. Just fished me out a lure. No fish on it, just a lure. Alrighty, on to the next one. Alright guys, just had this score here. Looked like I got two for one. Got me a dime and a penny in one scoop. I'll take it. So I got a nice solid 81, 82 right here. I'm gonna call this last signal of the day and then we're gonna head up to the truck and do the roundup. I figure we'll go ahead and do one live dig here. Let's see what we got here. I think I got it in the scoop. Oh, well, that's a decent way to end the day. I'll take it. It's a dime. That gives me a couple of those now. I think I got two or three of them. Awesome. I'll take it. All right, guys, I'll see you up at the truck. Here I am back at the tailgate, gonna do the roundup. Um, here's my mountain of trash. Uh, everything from everything from an old deteriorated bungee cord to a small child's t-shirt. Uh, t-shirt actually is gonna come in handy to haul all this stuff over to the garbage can. Um, for the good stuff I found today, I got one quarter, three dimes, two nickels, ten pennies and then a sinker that'll go in my lead collection. I did look up this can for you guys to kind of get an idea because I've never seen one like this before. This is actually from the 70s. Um, I was reading the article on it. Uh, Coors actually developed this type of opening um, to prevent the, the old school pull tabs, the ring pulls that came off from being discarded on the ground. 
uh, you're supposed to just push these holes open. The smaller one is to allow the airflow. Um, this particular design didn't last long because people were cutting their fingers when trying to open up their cores. So I guess uh, even though they were adding blood to their cores, it didn't make it taste any better. All right, guys. So yeah, that's the haul. Um, thanks for tagging along, guys, and I'll see you at the next one.